Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Thursday. It is May the 2nd. We're going to pick up here in the wonderful Encouraging Word of God. And here on this May 2nd is also the National Day of Prayer. And I think that it is by divine intervention that we are where we are in this plea from God to seek the Lord and live. Seek the Lord and live. And I pray that uh, this will be an encouragement to you to find a place to gather with the body of the believers to seek the face of God as the National Day of Prayer is a prayer to call the nation to prayer, call them to come together and to seek the face of God. And why should we seek the face of God? Because we are doing exactly what Israel did, and Israel came to destruction because of it, and we don't want to see that happen in our country. So he says, Seek the Lord and live, ye who turn judgment to wormwood. In other words, you turn judgment into this form of bitterness, like it's something to be rejected rather than something that should be accepted. You don't, you're not accepting the judgment of those who are to um, uh, get punishment for doing what is wrong. You, you celebrate the wrong rather than uh, bring judgment upon it. And so he says, he says, you who turn judgment to wormwood and leave off righteousness in the earth. He says, you're, you're, you're shunning righteousness and you're accepting immorality and, um, and lawlessness. And, and that's not the way that God has designed us or made us for. Uh, and, and we rejected God. And so he says, seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion. And turneth the shadow of death into mourning, and maketh the day dark with night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name, and we need to call upon his name today. We have sinned, we have turned judgment to wormwood, we have left off righteousness in the earth. And he says, that strengtheneth the spoiled against the strong, so that the spoiled shall come against the fortress. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly. And certainly we are seeing that in the day in, the day in which we're living. I mean, if, if you speak judgment against anybody, oh boy, uh, if you bring rebuke against something that's, a, that's a, a, an idea that's wrong according to the God of heaven, oh boy, uh, who are you to tell me how to live my life? And we're free to live any way we want to live. Well, you see how that's working out for us, don't you? We need to return to the Lord our God. And he says, For as much then, therefore, as your treading is upon the poor, and you take from him burdens of wheat, you have built houses of hewn stone, but you shall not dwell in them. You have planted plant pleasant vineyards, but you shall not drink wine of them. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just, they take a bribe, they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Therefore the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. Man, if this ain't a word for us today, uh, this spoken uh, uh, 2,000 years ago, it is... It is the same situation where we are today. So he says, seek good and not evil that you may live. The Lord wants us to live. The Lord wants us to survive. The Lord wants us to turn to him. And he says, and so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Hate evil. Love the good. Establish judgment in the gate. And it may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. If you're listening to the sound of my voice this morning, if you're watching this encouraging word of the day, this is the day when we need to seek the Lord that we might live. That God may be merciful upon the remnant of the faithful few who believe in justice, who believe in judgment, who believe in righteousness, who believe that there is a God who has created all things and that sovereign God has come down to earth and he died for us so that we can have the forgiveness of our sin. But not only have the forgiveness of our sin, but the gift to live life, to have life in his name and life more abundant and look uh, at what we have done with that abundant life. We are now in the face of God who died for us and living in sinful, lascivious lifestyles. 
not caring about our speech, not caring about our bodies, not caring about anything. We, we just live life to the fullest of the pleasure of our flesh. And God says it's destroying you, every single one of you. And <clears throat> so, seek the Lord that you may live. National Day of Prayer. No better day to get started in doing that. So go forth today mildly in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and be encouraged.